Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to solve the given partial differential equation. This is of the form capital P into small p plus capital Q into small q equal to capital R. Now, rewriting the first term, we have small p. So, we have y square by x into z. Then whole thing is multiplied with small p. From this we can identify what is capital P. So we are going to write in this form by a small rearrangement. So even here we take x, z then into q. So we can understand what is capital Q and the last term is y square. So now we are going to write capital P separately which is y square z by x capital Q is x, z and capital R is y square. To get the solution, we have to solve dx by capital P equal to dy by capital Q equal to dz by capital R. Now, substituting, we get dx by y square z by x, then dy by x, z, then dz by y square. Now, taking first two terms at a time, we are going to get a solution that is dx by y square z by x equal to dy by x z. You can cancel both the sides z and this x will be carried to the numerator. So, x dx by y square equal to dy by x and by cross multiplication this x will be multiplied here we get x square dx equal to y square dy then it is in the variable separable form x terms on one side and y terms on the other side so we go for integration this is x cube by 3 equal to y cube by 3 plus c1 now taking this term to the other side and make a common denominator we get x cube minus y cube whole division by 3 equal to c1 carrying this 3 here we get x cube minus y cube equal to 3 c1 so this is our u which is x cube minus y cube in the same way we are going to take another pair if I take this what we find is we have y term, z term and x term. Here we have only dy and dz. But we have x here. So it is difficult to integrate. And we have to substitute x from this which is not possible. Which is a complicated thing. So instead of taking second and third, it is better take these two. So y square we can cancel on both the sides. So which will give the easier way to proceed. We have to choose accordingly. Now I take first term and the last term. So here we can cancel this. Then this x will be carried to the numerator. So it is x dx equal to and this z right now it is here but I can carry it to the other side by the cross multiplication. So we get in the variable separable form x dx equal to z dz. So now we can integrate on both the sides. This is x square by 2 equal to z square by 2 plus the constant c2. Carrying this to the other side and making as a common denominator, we get x square minus z square equal to c2 and thus we get x square minus z square is equal to 2c2 and this is taken as v which is x square minus z square. Now using u and v we can get the general solution and our general solution is in the form f of u comma v equal to 0. So f of x cube minus y cube comma x square minus z square equal to 0. So using 
Lagrange method, we got the solution for the given partial differential equation.